What's up, y'all? It's your girl Leah. Back with another video today. Let me. <laughs> That's all. I had to take my mic. Don't, don't play with it. Don't be the size. Today, we are going to be reviewing a townhome that is in North Chesterfield, Virginia. You might as well say the Richmond, Virginia area. Uh, I know everybody, if you're from Chesterfield, then you're probably going to be like, hey, Leah, don't say that. You know what I mean? Like, Chesterfield is Chesterfield, Richmond is Richmond, but hey, I'm going to just say the Richmond area. So, we're going to be reviewing a townhome that is listed for $399,265. Okay. It is a three bed, three bath, 2,333 square feet foot home it is actually already pending but hey we can still review it i know that there are other homes that are for sale that look very similar to this but before i get started guys please understand that i am a north carolina south carolina virginia and georgia real estate professional and none of these comments are made with ill intentions towards anyone that is associated with this transaction so please 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 do not take it to heart also if you guys need any help buying selling or investing in any of your real estate needs i don't care if you are in I don't care if you're on the other side of the country. If you need my help, go ahead and reach out to me and I will assist you. My email is either here or here, or you can contact me using the link in the description. So let's go ahead and hop into this review. I don't know if I've done, I've done properties in Richmond. It's just Chesterfield per se. I'm not sure if it's been exactly in Chesterfield. Okay, so this is obviously a three-story townhome and it's on a corner lot so or on a corner unit. That is a huge plus because when you are buying townhomes or when you're looking at row homes or something like that or condos if it's not on the corner you're more than likely going to have windows to the front you're going to have windows to the back and there may not be windows on the side so well if you're sitting in the middle like this house right here obviously they're not going to have any windows right here so that automatically diminishes the natural lighting that you get within the home okay see see how this one has a couple of windows here and then they have more windows right there these houses don't have that long that they don't don't have that luxury okay inside the house super simple love the way that they have it decorated i like the floors you can't really go wrong with the way that they have it right now it doesn't look like they have paint on the walls like here you can see how it's kind of like textured so it's probably just wallpaper i don't dislike it though i feel like neutral tones are very easy to make look good so if you guys are interested in selling your house right and you say hey Aaliyah, what should we be like doing to make the house you know get ready to be sold more than likely I'm just going to tell you to put some neutral type of paint on the walls. And when we get ready to prepare the house for you to sell, we would just, you know, do things like that if you want to, obviously. But if you have like green walls or purple walls or something like that, it, it I'm not going to say that the house isn't going to sell, but some people, they don't realize that these are things that could very easily be changed. So when you're presenting it to a buyer, they might, you know, not want to do those types of things, even though they're super, super simple fixes. So it doesn't have a light so if they just left it like that that way that you can come in and put your own light there you could either put like some type of like modernized light fixture or you could put a ceiling fan there, there's a couple of different things that you could do with this but they didn't put one so you would just be able to put your own okay so it's open concept the island is very long there are how many chairs five chairs at this island that is a plus i've seen some large islands in throughout this time but i don't I don't think that I've ever seen one that had five chairs. I don't even know if I would have five people over at the same time <laughs> to sit at all those chairs. Okay, that's nice though. Okay, super, super simple. Yes, like this is the way that you should do it. I like I love when it just makes sense. You know what I mean? I do, I there's there's a decent amount of cabinet space. Some people would probably require a little bit more, but I do think this is a decent amount. I think that these light fixtures could probably be a little bit different, but I don't necessarily dislike them. This is this is all right. This is all right. They definitely didn't do what I was expecting them to do with the paint though like they literally just put like some wallpaper on the wall and that's that's fine just putting a little bit more like texture into the the, the household I assume doesn't look bad though okay and then you have some more cabinet space on this other side that's nice this is probably where you can like make coffee or put like a little like you know beverage area at more than likely so here's some stairs right here so looks like is this the main so you would probably get into the 
house from this downstairs downstairs area. So this is more than likely the middle. Then there's another area where you can sit down at and eat. So like a dining area. Oh, I'm seeing a I'm seeing a balcony. You guys know I'm a strong advocate for that. Like I feel like if you want to go outside and sit, you should be able to. And uh, you would I would hope that we would have a balcony or a patio. The pantry is a uh, decent size for sure. Like that. Yeah, this looks nice. It looks nice. Love the floor. I don't see anything abnormal about the floor at all. Looks like this is this is a very 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 new home. So okay, okay. So one of the bedrooms. The, okay, I don't know if this is the master. I'm, I was expecting for the room to be a little bit bigger than this, honestly. Now remember, guys, that furniture can just be big. So the room might be larger than what we're what we're thinking that it is, and the furniture could just be super big, and it's making the room look smaller. So keep that in mind. Really, the only way that we would know how big the rooms are is when we go see it. So if you ever see any house that you want to see, go ahead and let me know and I will make sure that you see it. So I mean, this isn't horrible to me. They didn't put a ceiling fan in this one either or a light. So they do have the recessed lighting. They don't have a ceiling fan there yet. So they're just leaving it to you to get, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but just keep that in mind. There, the walls are like a mintish, greenish type of look. It, that doesn't, I'm not mad at that because I feel like it's light enough where it's like, okay, it's it's almost neutral. Okay, I guess the, the room is oh, in okay size. I don't think that it's like terribly small or anything. In the beginning, I was like, mm, but I, I think it's an okay size. Okay, so that's just another look at it. Is it, the room just looks like it's kind of just long, and I wouldn't be concerned about the carpet because it's a this is a new construction, so it doesn't really matter. Like your feet are the only one that is gonna be on it. Looks like until you sell it, obviously. But I don't dislike this at all. Okay, bathroom isn't too bad. I don't like it. There's not a tub, but so one of my subscribers they commented it on one of my videos a couple of days ago and they were saying for individuals that maybe have a disability um, it may be easier for them to use a shower instead of a tub and honestly I didn't think of it that way I was thinking of um, for more elderly people that would maybe need to sit down but I guess a shower would be more like efficient because you could just get like a stool or something that they could use if there wasn't already an, an area built in so whoever that person was I can't remember their username but thank you for enlightening me through a different perspective because in the beginning I wasn't looking at it that way so I really appreciate that comment if you guys ever have anything like that or if you have different thoughts than me please comment them because I want to know like you know how do you guys view it you know I want to be able to you know learn from a bunch of different types of people and take in a bunch of different perspectives because I don't want to only ever have my own beliefs or my own thoughts or my own you know what I mean perspective perspectives to fall back on I want to be able to you know have my mind open to a bunch of different things so like I said I really really appreciate your comments all of the comments that you guys give me but this bathroom you know it's a decent size I don't think that it's like you know abnormally small or anything I do wish there was a tub though even if it was separate the wallpaper so in some of the houses that I've been reviewing I don't necessarily like the wallpaper but I feel like this one works I don't think that it's like overpowering it has has like an accent on just one wall so that's okay I don't necessarily like it with the carpet but hey so i mean is this that same this is that same room it looks like there's a different oh no it's a different room it's a different room i mean it's not horrible i feel like they should have did this at the same thing they did in this room with the room that we just saw like they made the white wall the walls white with the accent wall but they it's not like too too much you know what i mean like in this room it looks like they put tannish color walls with the wallpaper i just feel like that's kind of like a little bit too much nude type of feel um i just feel like they should have did it the exact same way as this room but like i said in other videos like that's a super simple fix with the carpet i feel like there's only so much that you can do with the walls where it's like not overpowering so i don't think that this is too much though the rooms are not as big as I would have hoped though. I mean, okay, this is that, wait, what? Why does it, is it the same room? I'm so, <laughs> okay, so I'm assuming that this is the same room as this right here, okay. And I'm only saying that because the bedding is different from that first picture that we saw. Okay, I like this bathroom. I don't feel like the tealish, bluish color looks bad with the wood and the bathtub and tiling in the bathtub. I don't think that that looks bad. So this is okay. Okay, this, this room is cute. I do like the blue with the carpet, so I'm not against this at all i feel like this is a very very nice i guess this is supposed to be a child's room uh, this child is probably so bored but i know that they probably just staged this room just to you know what i mean just to give people ideas of what it could look like but this isn't bad at all okay so yeah it could, it's a it's a decent 
besides child's room. I feel like the room, the, the house is okay. I don't feel like a large family could live in this house though. It's because the rooms are so small. Like if you had two small children, it probably would be okay for a little bit of time and then probably would end up wanting to, you know what I mean, get something a little bit bigger after a while. This bathroom is okay. It looks like it's a half bath. So that means that there's only two full bathrooms in the house. Okay, just a, an area that you can sit and take your shoes off at when you first enter into the house. More than likely that's on that, that bottom area. Here's a living area. I think that we saw, I'm pretty sure we saw a living area in the first couple of pictures. We're about to get done with the pictures, so I'll circle back just to make sure. But I'm pretty sure that this is just another living area, which is, I like this. I think that this is nice. This is nice. I like the wallpaper. You're just gonna have to decorate that way that, you know, it looks good. I feel like the way they have it staged, it's a very, 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 it, it works with the, the light floors, the white walls, and then that one accent wall. I feel like that works for sure. Yeah, this looks good. This looks really, really good. Like, like this downstairs, I would be like, I would be trying to figure out, is this house really staged? Or somebody actually living in it because this looks like somewhere that someone would live it doesn't look too put together if that makes sense i feel like someone would actually be utilizing this space I feel like sometimes when homes are staged like it's it's put together so meticulously that it's like hard to picture someone actually using the space wait is this another half bath okay is there four bathrooms okay the patio the patio is nice looks like it's a pretty decent size too and then there's a random bush <laughs> i don't know what, the, what that's about oh okay okay they have it in like a little like a little stand thing okay that gives you a little bit of privacy okay so your community has like a little water area for children that's nice and you got a pool okay more than likely i guarantee the hoa is paying for that that's usually what what goes on okay oh yeah okay so here's a, that other living area so honestly i feel like depending on on the size of the the family some people can be creative and turn that space into like a room you know i i probably wouldn't do that but that the downstairs space not this space obviously but i feel like some people they are they have ways of turning you know different areas into non-traditional type of or using them for non-traditional uses so i think that this house has a lot of you know potential i feel like it is very 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 well designed i do wish that the rooms were a little bit bigger but at the end of the day this is a town home it's three beds three ba three baths and you know it's it's 2,333 square feet and you know we can't you can't expect for it to be too too large but it's not too small either I do feel like you could make use of the space that is um given so let's go ahead and wrap this up if I had to give this house out of 10 I probably would give it like a six and a half um just because the rooms are a little bit smaller but I don't dislike the way that it's designed. I, lo I love the materials that they use. I think that it looks nice. The price point, I'm I'm a little iffy about the price point, but I do think that it would be around that 300, almost $400,000 mark. I do think that they probably could have came down a little bit. This house is already pending though. I, I would be interested to find out what it closes at. So I'm, I'm gonna be paying attention to what it does. So you guys, like, <laughs> I appreciate each and every single one of you for tuning into this video. You guys are amazing. I appreciate all the support that you guys give me. If you guys need any assistance buying, selling, or investing in any of your real estate needs, make sure to go ahead and reach out to me i will leave my contact information down below i will leave my email either here or here or you can use the contact link that is in my description make sure to go ahead and like comment subscribe to your channel and i will catch you guys in the next video